Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you on how to change the front brakes uh, pads and the rear brake pads for the Porsche Panamera. Uh, it is very similar for the uh, Porsche Cayenne depending on the version you have. Um, so let's get started. For the front brake pads always work with, uh, with the leverage you have. For example, we are working on the right side, so we can pull this uh, to the right side. Make sure to have the key to the ignition on so this way your steering wheel is now locked and you see now we have much more spaces um, for the Porsche Panamera S, uh, 4S it is a E18 reverse torx right here it is a E18 reverse torx uh, we just want to loosen it for now so here you see I'm using a kind of extension in order to get gain extra torque Counterclockwise, always to listen. You see the, all the extra leverage I had. So these are usually torqued at uh, around 106 pounds feet of torque, and for the rear, uh, I would say 670. And again, if you have the uh, turbo version or the GTS or whatever, which have much bigger brakes and they have different specs, so make sure to check them. We want to remove the sensors first, if we can. Uh, it's kind of easier from this angle. So now, what we're going to do is unclip. So we have a clip here. You see, just use an angle pick to lift the tab up and we can pull the connector. Very easy, this is the uh, sensor. For the uh, brake wear, and then you have another clip here, which you lift it up. You can just use a flathead to pry it out like this, and to unclip it. It's a plastic tab, and I just use you just punch it out. Now you have the space to remove the brake caliper. Before we remove the brake, uh, the brake caliper, we want to push in the pistons. Uh, there's three on each side, usually. It's a six piston caliper. So you see, I'm using flatheads with tapes around it, so we don't have, so we don't, uh, we sh so we can minimize the damages if ever we scratch it. So you take the corner like this of each pad of each side like this and you do the same thing for the bottom one and you try to like push it in you know, kind of pry like this and apply pressure you're like prying on the brake pads See, I'm crying. So I cried from. It's just long bolts. Bucket beside and then put it aside. Uh, 
Now because we loosened the, uh, the, the brake line clip earlier, it's going to be easier. We're going to have much more leverage. So I'm using a cardboard and a pair, huge pair of pliers. I'm going to push in the uh, piston. Pair of the cardboards are to not scratch, so we don't scratch the uh, brake calipers. So these, this is a huge plumbing wire. You can also use a pair of uh, flatheads, but you might damage. Uh, the rollers are the calipers, so that's why I prefer this method. It's very efficient. Your pistons are supposed to be smooth anyways, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so you see, I'm using, I'm pushing it in. allows us to not scratch the calipers. And now we can use a flathead and take out the brick pads like this. And then the shims, the clips. show you where I'm going to lubricate it. Here. This is basically your slider pin, so it's very important. Uh, down here too. Alright, the pistons. And the shims, or the clips, whatever you call them. The brick pads. The, uh, the plugs. I'm not sure why there's. Ah, oh, yeah, it's to hold the uh, the shims. push it with both hands and then clip it like this so like I said earlier push it in like this and we got it in and we're done make sure the brake pads doesn't have any brake lubricants if it does well use some brake cleaners
to the two long bolts, I usually put a tiny bit of uh, NTCs. Yes, I put it a lot, but I'm going to use it like this. seated. You do not want to strip any of these uh, and then you try to pull it out make sure it's properly seated. If you want to help just hold it from the bottom a bit more give it a and then you're going to use the electric ratchet plug back the uh, sensors so like I said earlier uh, so uh, the thicker part see there's a thicker part on the sensor it goes toward the, the rotor and there's like a, a slot for you to slot in like this nice and easy thing same thing for the other side just clips in like this I'm going to torque these two to 106 pounds feet of torque. Put back the uh, connector. Make sure it clips. Luckily, so there's a slot. Just use a pair of pliers, and you'll be fine. Just clip back in. And now we're going to put back the wheels. Uh, the wheels, wheels, the log wheels are 100 pounds feet of torque. So we're at the back finally for the Porsche Panamera brakes. Um, the back is much easier. So all we have to disconnect is the uh, is the brake sensor or the brake uh, where sensor or whatever you call it um, and the funny thing is it's a E55 or E50 uh, E60 Torx but the biggest Torx I have on my toolbox is a E6 uh, E50 yeah so uh, the biggest one I have is a E50 and it works because these are tight uh, tightened at um, 67 pounds feet of torque so I'm gonna use my E50 just slowly make sure it doesn't strip so you see it's moving this is an E50 but you see there's a loose so I would say it's more like an E55 but it's the first time I see an E55 in the on a car used on a car on the Cayenne it's a it's a it's it was a, a Allen I don't know why on the Panamera they use it 
they use a Torx 55. It's so weird. Uh, grab your toothpick, your angle pick, and just lift this part up. And then now you can pull the connector. Like this. Very easy. And since we're not keeping the sensors, I have brand new ones, I'm just gonna. Well, for now, I'm gonna leave it here. It doesn't seem to want to budge. So we're gonna remove the two. The two. Uh, what's it called? The two E. Well, let's call it E50 because I'm using an E50. See also how I'm always supporting the calipers when I'm removing these bolts, so I don't want to stress. Uh, I don't stress. Sorry, the threads. So this one. So you just want to pull it out. It's pretty simple, and then try to push it or pull it like this angled and it's gonna push a bit back the pistons and we have this connector right here just twist it and you can remove it and now we can take it. and now we can put the caliper with a rag on top so it can work so we can easily work on it consider it like a workbench so I use my flathead Make sure the pads are not moving. Just give it a few hits. All right. Don't use the hammer in case you want to preserve these uh, these sensors. So I'm just using my hand, and these are loose finally. And now for the piston part, I use a cardboard to um, and like this to not scratch the surface of the calipers. And then in the middle between the two pistons on one of one side, let's say, uh, I use a pair of plumbing pliers and I squeeze as hard as I can. It should move very easily. You see, we push the pistons back in, but it's gonna push. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but this part, this one is thicker, and you're gonna see when we push, it's gonna try to push the other side out. So that's why I'm gonna grab like this, and I'm gonna try to push at the same time, like this, and I'm gonna apply some pressure, because it's gonna move it. I'm gonna try to push it with my hands. They shouldn't be too tight, okay? If they're not seized, brambles, those small pistons are supposed to be to move very easily. So that's how we push uh, the pistons on a bramble kit or any brambles. Oops. This one doesn't want to come out, so I'll just use I'll just use a flathead. Take it out. this and also the pistons and the shims for well, another shim the the brackets so now we're going to lubricate the moving parts uh, this slider pin right here for the brambles. You can be very generous because these are basically what slides and moves on for your brick pads on the brambles. Like this. So that's why you can be generous on it. And because these are not sealed like uh, the typical slider pins, you tend to have, you tend to need more maintenance on the brambles because of that. Now the pistons, we have four in the back, six in the front on this kit, 
but the new Porsches they have 8 and 6 and 10 and 8 and so on depending which Porsche and the bracket too all right so once again just to be sure I'm gonna lube a bit more on the, the pads like this like this lube the pads again and you see there's a little slot you have to lube that too because that's where uh, the pads presses on uh, for the, the brackets now to install them very simple push down push downwards on both sides and then clip it in like this and then you're done thing push it down it should slide in make sure it's tight so I'm gonna install the calipers first before doing anything else I'm going to spread it like this to give it a even coating the best I can anyways and uh, just like for the front thread this and thread this and tighten it first and then lift it a bit it's going to be easier same thing for here make sure Make sure you're not forcing anything, okay? It should be very smooth. I set it to 70. So make sure the connector is always on the toward the inside and the fat side is toward the inside of the calipers which is uh, toward the, uh, the brake calipers. It's going to clip in very nicely. Uh, it's pretty dummy proof, you can't put it in the wrong way, let's see. and tight yep and then just cross this wire here this goes inside like this it's gonna pop and then you have this connector right here just make sure you twist it in like this and twist it back out and then all you do is connect it it's gonna clip if you don't hear a clip, it means it's not properly connected or seated. There you go. See the clip? People say, and the parts are not as expensive as people, as people say. It's the labor. It's, uh, especially if you want a, a nice job done, properly done, you'll have to put some time, okay? You can't be lazy. For example, calipers like this, well, just put a few minutes, you know, so when the customer gets back the car, it looks nice and nice and shiny. Well, not not brand new, but nice and shiny. Uh, if you have a pressure washer, it's even better. Uh, I don't have it connected right now. It just rained, <laughs> and so I'm just trying to clean it as much as I can, so it can be a bit more presentable. I mean, it's it was a quick wash, so whatever. Uh, thank you guys for watching and um, once again if the video really helped you click the like button and you know maybe subscribe maybe I'll get some more DIYs eventually 
and you'll get to learn a thing or more. You know, if it's free for you to click on that like and subscribe, and but it helps me a lot. So, thank you guys for once again for watching and have a nice weekend or have a nice day. Thank you. I get lost sometimes and I can't seem to find a light between.